Isn't it incredible how much the season can change in just one month? In the end of October, this is how it looked like here. And now, as I sit here and edit this video in the end of November, this is how it looks like. So the winter has definitely arrived, and it's been a wonderful month with a beautiful transition from the autumn to winter. I've been out filming almost every day the past two weeks because of the singing eyes and the beautiful winter landscapes. But before I show you more of this magical winter time that we are in right now, I want to share some moments from the end of October, when I finally met up with my beautiful friends that I first met on a meditation retreat back in June. Maybe you remember that from an earlier video. I don't know what happened, but after those days together, I felt like they were my friends for life. We connected so deeply and we promised each other that we would meet again in October, even if we all lived very far away from each other. Most of them actually comes from Denmark. I lived here what? once, but that was before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> and now in October, some of us could finally meet again. First we went down to Stockholm for two days and stayed one night at a beautiful place by the sea. Oh, Hygge comes from Danish. Yeah, it's Danish. This is a real Hygge. This is a real Hygge. This is a real Hygge. Danish Hygge. Danish. Swedish Hygge. I'm sitting here with two real Danish ladies. <laughs> Scandinavian Hygge. Catwalk! Come on! Ooh, da 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 Latest fashion! Swimsuit. <laughs> and here we have Messe. She wears the latest dress and swimsuit. Oh, I love the tea. You're the only song that One thing that we all have in common is that we love to take cold swims. I think we spent more time in the water than on land during these days. This is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go take a morning dip. It's so good. So good. After two amazing days in Stockholm, they came up north with me and stayed at my place for two days. Now we're in the north! Especially the Danes were really excited about the snow. <laughs> it felt so wonderful to have them here and to show them my home and the places that I love. Welcome to the north. Oh, we are so <laughs> Thank excited. You so much. <laughs> Thank you for having us. You guys are the cutest. And of course, we went down to the lake and the sauna and took midnight swims every night when they were here. And that was magical. <laughs> It's so strange, because I've always seen myself as someone who never likes to hang out with people for too long. After a day with social activities, I need at least a week alone to charge myself. Both me and Juwan are the same in that way. We are introverts that prefers to be by ourselves. But these people, my soul friends as I call them, I could be with them for a month without feeling drained or the need to be alone. And Juwan felt the same. It's just a very new feeling to me. I'm so grateful that I get to have these amazing people as my friends. 
I know that we will be friends for life and meet up as often as we can. We can laugh and cry together and everything in between. And I just have so much fun with them. Being with these people is pure healing. <laughs> you are so badass, you know that? <laughs> and we found out something really crazy when they were here. This guy, Klaas, he is my relative. Well, a long time back. We come from the same Finnish guy that built his home on this piece of land 400 years ago. So we both have our roots here, on this exact spot where I have my house. It was thanks to his grandmother that we found out about this. So Klaas is actually my long lost brother. And aren't we a bit similar? This is a good start in yeah, this day. Like <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Want to go home? No, I don't want to go home. <laughs> they were only here for two days, but it felt like a week. We really took advantage of the time and filled our days and nights with so many beautiful experiences. I can't wait to see them again. The next morning, the snow melted away and created this magical mist all around the landscape. It felt like we went back from winter to autumn again, and that's very typical October. Me and Johan decided to keep taking cold swims every single day because it made us feel so good. Förlåt, men jag kommer behöva filma här en stund, för det är... Det här är bland det vackraste jag sett. Wow! Okay. Fy fan, vad fint! Oh, vad fint. Monday, it's minus eight Celsius. Yeah. And it's time for a swim. It didn't matter what weather it was, we took a swim every single day. Sometimes it was early in the morning as the sun was rising. And sometimes it was late in the evening in pitch black darkness. We took a swim for 23 days straight until the ice started to cover the lake. And as many of you know by now, I always get very busy when the ice begins to grow on the lake. It's one of my favorite times of the year. There's just so much beauty in the ice. So many incredible patterns and beautiful blue colors. It feels like there's a masterpiece waiting to be seen in every step I take. And I could spend hours taking photos or filming the ice.
And then, something even more magical is the sounds that the eyes create. It's like an ancient spirit waking up from deep down in the lake. As always, when the ice sings, I try to capture the sounds on my sound recorder so that I can make a new long ice sound video for you. Two sound recorders on the ice now. One here and one that I put further away on the on the ice. It's minus ten Celsius degrees now, so it's perfect now as the sun has set and it's getting colder and colder for every minute. <laughs> That's the perfect conditions for the ice to sing when it's a clear sky, the sun is setting and it's getting colder really quick. So the ice is growing so fast that it cracks and then it's just <sighs> I love this. I love this so much. I don't know why. I have recorded sounds of the ice for many years now. I wonder why I never get tired of it. Why does it still feel like the first time? I'm whispering because I don't want to destroy the sound recordings in case a really nice sound would come while I speak. This is how it looks like when I'm being creative. <laughs> you well. Thank you for accepting my mess that I yes. create. Messy here now. And this part of my job. It's a creative mess. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is a sign that you have a project going on. <laughs> <laughs> You are the fire master. It's very cold yeah. outside and inside. Mm. I don't know why. Really beautiful day. We're trying to see how thick the ice is because yeah. we usually always go swimming here every morning. <laughs> Just a few days ago couple of days ago. But now the ice is so thick that we can't really break it, break through it. No. So it's like a centimeter or and a half, maybe. What a nice tool you got. Yeah, <laughs> you take what you got. Ice uh. gardening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> ice gardening. 
Okay, how deep is it? Four. Like that, maybe? Where is Nana? Oh, no. Nanok! Nanok! Nanok escaped as usual. <laughs> he was on his way to our neighbor's dog, a lady dog. Another dog he's in love with. Thank you for catching him. It's a bit cold. We are on our way down to the sauna by the lake because um, I left some ice tools there. You know, I usually <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I usually make a ice hole down by the sauna. So I have this ice saw and ice ice spear. Yeah, ice spear. <laughs> We're gonna bring it up here because. Uh, we take a swim in the lake here, just down by the house every morning. Or we have done it for a long time now, for almost a month. But now, yeah, as we said, the ice is getting so thick, so we can't take an ice. So we're gonna bring the tools here and make a hole tomorrow in the ice and hopefully keep it open. Yeah, we we'll see how it goes, yeah. how, if it works well every week or something. Yeah. Take a dip. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not every morning, but no. uh, once no. every week would be so super nice. Yeah. We were actually supposed to be in Stockholm right now. Yeah. We, we were going there today. I had a, a, a an appointment there, and we were we booked two nights at a hotel, and maybe to give ourselves uh, another little vacation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we never go to the city, so. We, oh, wait a minute. What's Viabjorn? Oh. Hej, det är Jonna. Ja, men det är Mats här senare. Hej! Hör du, dörren, ytterdörren. Ja. Jag tänkte om det funkar för er imorgon. Ja! Ja. Det går jättebra, gud vad bra. Men då, ja, då ses vi imorgon. Hej, hej. Ja, hej då. Hey. It was meant to be! <laughs> you know, we are waiting for, we have bought a new uh, outdoor. Outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, outdoor. <laughs> it's the door. <laughs> uh, main door to the house. The door yeah, we the have. Yeah, the door into the house. Yeah, it's you can't lock it, and it's not a, a door that are supposed to be out. You know, it's leaking in so much yeah. cold air. It's like an inside door. Yeah, it's but, crappy. Yeah, it's getting so cold in our house now again, and we're fighting the cold every day, and we've been waiting for this door now <laughs> for a long time. So now the carpenter called. As I said, we were supposed to be in Stockholm, <laughs> but the train was uh, cancelled because there's a big problem with the trains from the north down to the south. Yeah, a bridge was yeah. broken. <laughs> a bridge was broken, so we couldn't go. We had to cancel it this morning. We have packed and everything. But it was meant to be now because yeah. the carpenter is coming tomorrow to put in our door. That's nice. I'm so happy. Mm, it looks very spooky. The soul? Yes. Let's and do. And spear. The spear. There you go. I take the spear. Okay, I take the saw. Little, little, mini, mini coffee cup. Yeah, and the sugar cubes. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Here is the old door. Oh, okay. Shayna. <laughs> <laughs> So smooth. So nice. It's not completely done yet. They have some more stuff to fix around it, but the door is in. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's go and make an ice hole. Yeah. Oh, fine. Shining it. Ah, shining it. <laughs> Dora. <laughs> det är så helt sjukt ut. <laughs> Taget i sitt sammanhang. <laughs> We were just thinking about if it's raining and it is actually. I can feel it in my face. Yeah, yeah, okay, no. Yes, it's yeah. raining. Yeah. Now that was a strange change in the weather. Mm. Now it's all wet on the ice. Look! When you see the birch trees in their reflection in the water. Ah. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's get shit done. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay. We are so brave. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was a good try. Yeah, it was harder than we thought because the ice is still so thin. Yeah, and it's, how do you say, moist or it's it's not uh, hard enough. No. It's too soft. Yeah. yeah soft. Too vulnerable. Vulnerable. Too vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard word. We can't really make an ice hole because the whole ice is kind of going to break. Yeah. So we're going to try to... Make an ice path. Mm. But we got to change clothes because we are definitely going to go into mm. the water <laughs> to do this. Let's change into the ice hole collection. <laughs> Shall we continue doing this or So nice, so nice. <laughs> finally. Oh, finally. That was a nice pool. Yeah. Can sit here all day. <laughs> Should have a bottle of champagne. Yeah. I feel so good now. Yeah, me too. I think we did great with yeah, that. Yeah, we ice did hole. a good job. We did a good job. Good morning. <laughs> it's snowing a lot today. It's really beautiful. Big, beautiful flakes. I'm walking down to the ice right now because I'm gonna go and pick up my sound recorders. I left them out the whole night. I have two sound recorders, so I left one down here and one a few minutes uh, that way. <laughs> I'm very excited because this night the ice sang like crazy. I've never heard the ice sing so much and yeah, so intense. So I'm just really, really looking forward to see what the sound recorders picked up. Oh, it's still recording! It's been recording for 14 hours. Oh, my little friend. 
You've been working hard tonight. The ice was singing really loud for about a week until the snow came and isolated the sounds. I had my sound recorders outside every night that week and I think I got the most beautiful ice sounds that I ever recorded before. So I will definitely make a new ice sound video for this year. This time of the year is also the most busy time when it comes to our jewelry and art business. But now when we have such a great setup and such a wonderful team helping us, it just feels so good and fun. It's like we have our own little Santa workshop. <laughs> yeah, you would fit very well in pizzeria. Yeah. Me and Johan talk every day about how grateful we are that we have Adrian and Marie to help us with all the orders and customer service and so much other work behind the scenes of our webshop. It's been a huge challenge building up our little family business while having a high demand and still keep it local and personal without overworking ourselves. It took three years to come to this place where we feel balanced and at peace with our work. It has definitely been some years with a lot of hard work and many lessons learned along the way. And I am very grateful that things have worked out the way they did. I also want to take the opportunity to thank you for supporting our small business. After posting my last video where I showed you our newest jewelry designs, we sold them out really quick and we've had a really busy time here in the workshop the last weeks. <laughs> I want you to know that our business is now giving jobs not only to me and Juwan and some of my family members, but also to our friends Adrian and Marie and to three other silversmiths here in Sweden working for us. Isn't that incredible? In a place like this, getting a job is usually very hard. These small villages all around the north of Sweden is getting less and less people because of the lack of job opportunities. I feel so grateful and proud that it has become what it is. It is still a very small business, but in our eyes it's a big thing and it has made a huge difference for some people. So thank you from all of us for being here, for watching my videos, for showing interest in our jewelry and in my art and all the things we create. Just that you are here watching this video is supporting me more than you could ever know. Thank you. Adrian, you're moving the table so much. So when I'm writing, it's like... <laughs> Can you try to do it a little bit softer? <laughs> Who wants coffee? Me, me. You can't come up behind me like that. That's gonna be disastrous. Oh, oh I was gonna make a cozy film when I came with the coffee, do you? And then, oh, and then it spilled. Yeah. Um, the thing is, My bad. please, can I have some milk? <laughs> Just a splash. Just a splash. After you. Here you go, you hard-working oh, woman. Thank you. Is it good? Oh. Yeah, it's good. Good, good. All these boxes are gonna be sent today all over the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many countries. Yeah, so many different countries. What's the country that we sell most to, do you Mostly it's America, then Germany. UK's buying a lot right now. Really? Yeah, UK people. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this video also became a really long one, but I actually had more that I wanted to share with you. But because of extreme cold weather for the last two weeks, I couldn't work as usual because of really cold degrees in her house. Very, very cold. Whew. So the editing of this video became really delayed. Life in the north, you know? So I'm going to end this video now so that I can share it with you and then continue on the next video very soon. Thank you with all my heart for your beautiful comments and thank you for watching this video. Take care everyone, I see you soon. Bye.